Today in the crypto space, we see the market doing pretty good. Bitcoin at about $70,700, up approximately 3%. And Ethereum right around that $3,500 mark, up approximately 2.5%. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, pretty much going sideways. However, there are some good gainers like Doge and Floki and FET. And there's a bit of a dip here on ICP. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator. But more importantly, I want to talk about one project, one altcoin that is dipping down to lower levels within a range and potentially looking for that bounce and that project is called dynex so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins are looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with the general market first we'll look at the top 100 then we'll jump into the bitcoin chart to see what's going on here if we can use it as a leading indicator then i want to talk about dynex dynex is retracing within a very nice range a nice accumulation range and i feel like these ranges need to be respected and the fact is is that when we see a lot of market participation within ranges i do expect bounces and breakouts to the uh, higher levels all right so we're going to take a look at that very very shortly let's continue here we can see that bitcoin today was looking pretty pretty good for that breakout above that 70 000, 71 000, looking pretty good does it eventually happen do we actually get into price discovery once again guys it's very possible here very very possible that we do see a sweep of the highs potentially and maybe get back in or maybe we you know start rocketing to higher levels 80 83 thousand dollars price targets a lot of people are expecting that to happen guys no matter what happens guys if that does happen for me personally i am looking for other opportunities bitcoin is great no doubt and it's been running it's been doing showing a lot of strength for this market however the volatility is not there the reality is bitcoin is not going to make life-changing gains in the short term i'm going to be looking for lower cap altcoins projects that are, have great fundamentals good utility good team and a lot of uh, good um you know potential future in the crypto space value giving us valuable solutions to real world problems and for me that is worth getting into especially if they're low cap and they can give us that volatility ethereum kind of going sideways um bnb kind of going sideways solana you know kind of going sideways after a bit of a retracement xrp waking up a little bit to the upside but whatever still still in range we have uh dogecoin breaking out today what a performer for today dogecoin definitely definitely leading the way here up 20 percent not bad for the um og of meme coins cardano you know dip retracing type of thing sheep also doing very well however lagging behind dogecoin for sure but still doing pretty good toncoin retracing a little bit but kind of going sideways you can see the market is somewhat mixed today there's a bit of confusion like not so uh, a strong direction market-wide direction uh, because of the last little while we've been having a bit of retracement now do we continue do we continue going up i feel like a lot of people you know been following bitcoin and we can see that bitcoin could be sucking a bit of the liquidity out of the altcoins given the fact that maybe people are expecting that bitcoin runs to higher levels and gets into price discovery of course that would be the trade to get into and that way you're going to see that all coins might take a bit of a break however however once we see that bitcoin has done its mo thing and its moment has passed we should see the capital flow right back into the altcoin market and then get a continuation to the upside. Right now, there's no real reason to get absolutely bearish. The best strategy to do right now to, to employ would be to um, obviously look for bottom dwellers if you're looking to get into a fresh long, which are getting harder and harder to find. 
So at least let's look for structure where we can find some support and good uh, risk to reward uh, ratio opportunities. But also to take a bit of profit, guys. There's nothing wrong with taking a bit of profit. Scaling off the top 10% out of the time, trailing up stop losses, putting those safety nets in just in case the market decides to roll over. Because that way you can ensure that you're profitable, especially with those top gainers in the last little while that have been melting faces. You want to be able to walk away with those gains. So not bad. Generally speaking, the market is giving those us those opportunities. But it's very, very important that we take full advantage of those opportunities by taking profit. We see that chain link is doing okay kind of going sideways i kind of want to see chain link wake up for uh in the immediate short term it would be a nice indication for the altcoin market we have polygon kind of doing its thing kind of going sideways and near protocol and a retracement as well icp and a retracement so you can see them you know the general market in the short short term is in a retracement however some of them are getting a bounce trying to reclaim previous highs and continue to the upside right we have render kind of going sideways up five percent today but structurally speaking still within range and not really doing much and you can see that yeah we're in the green but nothing severe nothing crazy like even the graph graph is a great gainer when it moves it moves it, te it definitely tears it up but right now at this level we could get a rejection and it kind of does look like a consolidation. So for me, I'm, a being, I'm being very skeptical here. And unless we're at the bottom, bottom of the range, I'm not willing to take risk. And of course, we've done a great job on the live stream finding those right projects at the right time. And we've been in some good gains on some of those altcoins if you found those setups. Uh, obviously, guys, join me live tonight at 7.30 Eastern. And if you have any requests, that is the greatest time and place to make those requests so that we can take a look at the charts and you know come up with a plan going forward. All right, guys, let's continue. We have V chain waking up a little bit um, you know not too bad if you think about it nice little bull flag a bit of a retracement now it's breaking to the upside up eight percent finally is vet gonna wake up and start melting faces it could happen we do have a dog with hat looking pretty good injective in a retracement maybe it gets its breakout maker's been looking really really strong in the last little while 12, 12 and a half percent to the upside caspa not so much honestly not so much look at the trend the trend is your friend and it's lower lows and lower highs caspa had its moment now we're in a retracement and that's when we have to start looking for opportunities to scale back into our positions and be buying the dip on caspa i feel like caspa is still going to do very well but just keep in mind it's at a three billion dollar market cap which is pretty large and which means that you're not going to be making life-changing gains on a project like caspa if anything you're going to be looking for market cap lower market cap projects and maybe projects that eventually get built on caspa and that could give you some some exposure to the caspa network but at the same time um get into projects that have some volatility we have floki looking pretty good following a doge's lead of course up 17 percent today and a lot of good gainers for sure but you know generally speaking you gotta admit the market is pretty sideways in the last little while not giving us much bullishness and at the end of the day this is the time to you know maybe sit back and relax and check it out i know we're getting into the a weekend and the holidays are here and generally speaking we could expect some you know very thin order books which means that it's very easy to see volatility and market manipulation and the retail market is going to be there nice and hot whatever happens over this weekend guys just make sure that you're not getting into crazy crazy trades if we get into you know quick dips if we get into real real red price action yes take full advantage of it dca you know buy a few bags here and there but really guys be careful out there especially using leverage when the order books are thin and as you can see the market in general is fairly sideways not that exciting however again if we get opportunities we'll jump on them all right guys i know you're here to talk about charts let's begin let's take a look at bitcoin given the fact that the general market is kind of going sideways we can see bitcoin you know right now potentially looking for a breakout or respecting the fact that it retraced pretty good and it could be getting uh, a setup here to build a symmetrical or some sort of triangular formation guys let's look at this in a little bit more detail now the reason why i put this in as a spider line is because i am not obviously a fortune teller i don't know if it's going to happen if we get the symmetrical triangle but i could expect and i wouldn't be surprised if we got a consolidation and for that reason i'm keeping these lines here very loosely right we're going to see what happens here i wouldn't I, I honestly wouldn't mind to see a consolidation here because then we can start building our next move we can build a plan for our next move you know giving us a few bottoms a few tops gives us structure to go by now getting into a trade when you get a nice impulse is very very risky because you don't know what's going to be happening next 
stocks? Are you going to be, um, you know, exit liquidity? Are we going to get a quick rejection and it come straight back down? Or are we going to, you know, get into a consolidation like I'm saying, suggesting right here? I would prefer to see a consolidation, some sort of structure so that we can get some confidence in the scenario. Now, if we do go sideways, guys, I'm interested. I'm very interested in the altcoin market. I'm looking for buying the dips, especially down here at the bottom of the range. I'm making sure that I reserve capital for those opportunities. I'm taking a bit of a break from buying in the last little while. The last time I started scaling in, I bought about, you know, five different projects right around this level. I made those all known on the Discord, guys. Feel free to join because at the end of the day, that is the opportunity to take risk. Once you start getting that retracement, once you see the momentum get reset, once you see some indications of horizontal support, you know, that's when you start uh, potentially taking risks. So this is where I'm going to be focusing on. Really, the daily is not giving us much of an edge. A lot of confusion in this area. Do we get overbought or do we get rejected and come down and get oversold? The MACD, very confusing as well. Are the EMAs going to stay open or are we going to get an EMA cross to the upside and stay in the bullish control zone? All very possible. So at this rate, if you happen to get into a fresh long here at the bottom, where I was suggesting on the Discord, I, you know, I guys let you know that this was the best time to get into a long. And then all of a sudden, I we get that nice pop to the upside. And I'm like, guys, this is the time to expect, you know, an opportunity to de-risk from this long. And you can see why. The market is hesitant. And when there's hesitation in the market, yes, you could get a continuation. But also, when there's hesita he hesitation in the market, it leads you to believe that maybe the market is not totally convinced of a higher high. And that is an indication of risky scenarios. So what why, why bother and just take a bit of profit and start seeing what happens here? Now, if we get into price discovery, guys, great. Great for Bitcoin. But imagine what altcoins will do once Bitcoin gets into price discovery. There's a great chance that a lot of the top gainers, the, a lot of the bullish projects will follow along Bitcoin. In fact, will outperform Bitcoin. I know a lot of the Bitcoin maxis don't like this idea, but it's the reality. If you're going to look at the Bitcoin dominance and you're going to use all the altcoins as an entire group, yeah, in, in general, when Bitcoin runs, altcoins don't really keep up. But if you get into the right projects, if you're hunting for those gems, if you're doing deep dives and you know the hot narratives and you get into those projects, they will outperform Bitcoin despite the Bitcoin dominance going up, okay? So this is one thing that I've noticed over the last little while. Don't get distracted by the noise, especially when Bitcoin starts to break out. There are many, many opportunities other than Bitcoin when Bitcoin starts leaving the station. And that's where we need to really stay focused. Right now, Bitcoin could leave that station. Are your bags packed on good retracements? And of course, that's why I wanna talk about Dynex. DNX is the ticker because it is retracing and it's potentially gonna be eventually getting that bottom where we need to be able to scale in once again again all right guys so this is what i'm waiting for here for bitcoin at the end of the day even on the four hour not really getting a major edge do we get overbought and get another nice impulsive move and get into price discovery or do we get rejected like we did before in the past here as we entered slight overbought conditions and we start rolling over look at the macd how confused it is is it gonna get across is it not type of thing guys i'm not willing to take that chance i'm not willing to gamble here guys i'm not a gambler i want the risk to reward to be in my favor and this was the time to get into a fresh long on bitcoin in fact right now is not even an opportunity to short i wouldn't even short this market i would along this market on bitcoin i would be looking for altcoin opportunities all right guys let's move on let's look at dnx dnx at the end of the day is in a different state than bitcoin as you can see as you can see bitcoin is in a different different stage altogether and for that matter many large cap altcoins are as well look at ethereum runner um, avax has been doing great we have solana runner doing great uh, now we even have doge doing great we got a large uh, many large um altcoins large cap altcoins doing awesome now if we start Start looking at dynex you know part of a, an interesting narrative if i'm not mistaken it's part of the um the uh the uh, the DeFi um, narrative, but in more, not the DeFi, the decentralized science narrative, sorry guys, but ultimately in a very decent narrative that could have some potential, but look at the setup, look at the price action. The price action is solid in the sense that we can build a bit of confidence to suggest that market participation is definitely here. Look at all the volume into this sideways channel, right? Just reflect back to a lot of the other projects that have been doing this. Go back, test this. Every time we go into a nice sideways consolidation, it's likely that eventually we get an expansion. 
Now, given that we're on a bullish trend, given that the halving is 25 days away, given that, you know, it could be in a very hot narrative that is still very dormant and quiet, not meant, not much competition there. Um, decentralized science, DSI is, is what people refer to. And not many people are talking about it. So I feel like why not get into it just a little bit to see if we can, you know, get some bids in here just in case we can um, remember what we did with Rio and with other real world asset projects. Here on the channel, we got in super, super early, and that is how we were able to pack our bags early and it doesn't mean that you're going to bet the farm it doesn't mean that you're going to go all in and do you know and take too much risk but getting a bit of exposure not might not be a bad idea a lot of market participation here suggested by the volume profile we have the volume right here suggesting a lot of market participation in fact it does look thicker towards the tail end it's somewhat the same but you know you can say that is a little bit thicker which is good nice choppy price action cons uh, you know consistent with the idea of accumulation and even better what i like the most out of all of this is that where the 200 daily ema is and the fact is that we're holding up above the volume gap we touched it once and we kind of fell through came back up support we came back again to touch it again fell a little bit through bullish divergence and got support and got a nice bounce and every time right especially right now we're above the 200 daily trying to stay above and if we get back to this level again which is at about 59 cents i suggest that that would be another opportunity where we can expect a great risk toward ratio what do i mean by that i mean that if you put a stop loss anywhere below these lows and i know there's a level of ambiguity because of all of the wicks and um the fact is that the horizontal is not that clean but you can see look at this volume gap look at this empty space this concave space right into here which could suggest look if we come back down here we can fall right through we could fall right through or we can get a bounce and we can get some support as we have done in the past, which means that the risk to reward not only is healthy, but clear. You know, we can buy a bit here and be prepared that if it does fall through the volume gap, you know, once and for all, we could come down to this level and buy the dip right around 40 cents. And you can see that's the last line in the sand. We got previous price action right here. We got a bit of a spike of volume that could hold us a support. We can get someone oversold. We can get the MACD all the way into the bearish control zone and start building a position as we see EMA crosses. And the daily right now is looking bearish here on Dynex, but doesn't mean that the project is dead. It just means that individuals are still accumulating and the market participation is still trying to build a position for the potential breakout. Now, of course, once we break out of this horizontal area, you're going to see that it's going to get into price discovery. And then where's the resistance? All we got is extension levels. All we got is psychological levels, which is maybe $2.00 and extension levels at a 1.618 extension at about two dollars nice confidence right in that level but at the end of the day we've seen a lot of projects break out of the sideways consolidation after a huge accumulation with market participation break out with some strength here and then eventually never come back that's the reality again look at rio look at a lot of other projects that did this earlier on from the summer last summer we've seen a lot of those altcoins run and this is the thing here guys taking risk strategically um is important so risk to reward getting very healthy here because your invalidation is really close um we're getting there where your invalidation can be mitigated the risk can be mitigated by your invalidation of your bullish thesis and i'm going to highlight this line right here this line right here is starting to become more and more important especially that it does look like the price wants to come down and test it again so let's see what happens with this daily candle let's see what happens with the weekly close by the end of the week let's see what happens with this dip because as of now the emas on the macd and the rsi is coming down to oversold conditions for a test and let's see how low we go if we make a higher low guys super super bullish a higher low especially right around that 70 cent mark 69 cents or so 68 cents to be more accurate around this level if we do definitely get some support around the zone guys i'm expecting this higher low to be the confirmation that we could potentially start breaking to the the uh, previous rejection points and start breaking to the upside and get into price discovery real quick let's look at the four hour real quick here we see that we're already back to oversold conditions as we were in the past as we were in the past and as we were in the past and every time we come to these areas we get nice bounces we get nice horizontal supports and in fact as we are right now we're getting a slightly higher low which is a good sign i know it does look like an inverse head, uh, sorry not an inverse a regular head and shoulders shoulder head shoulder and i get that the break could take us down to slightly lower levels and i am aware of that at this at this thicker white uh, yellow line that it is the zone to take risk once again so again dca guys build your positions build a bit of a position right into here and if we do fall through the volume gap i would suggest that again we start looking at entries 
to DCA and average out our position so that when we do get that bounce and we do get that breakout into price discovery, we have a fat bag to make those profits. Guys, if I've offered you any value in the video, do the channel a massive favor. Slap the like button. It does really help out with the algorithm. And of course, if you want to follow me on the socials, the links are in the description below. Guys, feel free to join that Discord. The Discord is where it's at. Lots of good alpha, trade setups, fundamentals, and learning material. And guys, I'm going to be live tonight at 7.30 Eastern. Feel free to join. Take care. Have a good one. And don't forget, buy the div.